Hi guys, um, today is a video of Photoshop tutorial on how to add vignettes to layers or to to images or the it's it's pronounced vignette and um, this is my stock photo right here and I'm also going to show you how to add a sepia to it so let's open up Photoshop um, make this a layer instead of the background give it a name whatever you want and don't care about that um, first we're gonna make the grayscale which is gonna be necessary to making the sepia go to image mode grayscale and then once you do that go back to RGB color and um, that'll give it its uh, RGB back but without making it colorize again. So now you want to go to file, nah, da, 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 actually layer, layer new, layer, um, call it vignette, like that. Okay, drag this under. Uh, take your paint bucket tool, and if you don't have it, have it, it'll most likely be under gradient tool. Just click and hold gradient tool and then uh, click paint bucket and it'll come up. Uh, I'm going to use black and as you can see I made that black but it's under the uh, Jimmy layer. So now what you do is you take whatever elliptical marquee tool um, rectangular or elliptical whatever and take that tool and make sure you're on the top layer or this won't work and just make a selection like so sort of making it like a portrait imagine if these sides were cut off um, next you go to layer layer mask reveal selection and um as you can see it kind of created just it sep it subtracted the areas that were here and here and here and uh since you subtracted the pixels you see the background the vignette and then right here it blurred so that it's not just a circle um yeah and uh Something I forgot to tell you is that when, once you have this, whatever tool, the elliptical or the rectangular, go up here and make sure that it has some, some uh, feather quality or number, and or it'll just be a circle, plain circle, with Jimi Hendrix or whatever image, and then the background. So, um... That's how you add the vignette part, and hopefully this will work. And I hit Control U, and it's going to bring up the hue saturation dialog box. Um, first thing that you notice if you don't do this correctly is that if you go to change the hue, it's not going to do anything. But uh, what you want to do is make sure those are all default zero, and then click Colorize. And as you can see, I made a color there, of course. And um, just for a sepia, it's like an orange sort of color, yellow. And um, just play around with it until you get somewhere that you like, like that. And if you want to, you can make a new custom. I think that's a save button. I don't know. Or whatever. I don't think you can save them in the hue dialog box. But, uh, yeah. So hit OK. And now you can see that it has sort of like an old look to it. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much how you add the sepia to it. And, um, just for review, stock image, go to m image mode grayscale and uh, the first time it'll be checked and then go to image mode 
RGB color and then it'll bring up uh, the channels back um, but it won't colorize it like I said it'll just keep it uh, grayscale so uh, thanks for watching this this tutorial on how to add vignettes, vignettes and sepias and grayscales to an image see you next time